<laughs> okay, you so we're kitchen. what? You don't want to be in the kitchen? You're good. Oh, it doesn't matter if we're in the okay. kitchen. All right. Oh, hey, we're live here. Um, hey, John and Lori here with uh, Smoke It, Grill It, Cook It. Actually, we're changing the name now. If you haven't noticed, it's now going to be Cooking with the Wolf Pack, and I'll explain the whole Wolf Pack thing as we go along. Boy, I got some sun today, didn't I? Boy, I'm looking. Okay. Anyway, um, today on Smoke It, Grill It, Cook It, aka Cooking with the Wolf Pack. We are cooking a lemon shrimp scampi that's actually grilled lemon shrimp scampi. And it will knock your socks off. So sit back, tune in, get your get your ingredients ready to go. Even though you really they don't know, know what the ingredients are. are. Okay, well just watch. Okay, just watch the video. All right, let's get crack a lacking with our grilled shrimp scampi. So we're gonna make the marinade for that. Uh, in the uh, food processor, I'm gonna use a food processor. Don't be scared of these things. I bought one, it's a Hamilton Beach. Um, I, mine just clips on either side, right? You've got some food processors that you gotta twist and then you gotta twist the top and hope it all locks in right so it'll run. This one, you just put the top on, secure it down ready to go. So I've got 10 cloves of garlic in here. Now here's what I'm going to say about garlic. Don't be scared of garlic. A lot of people, oh my gosh, I'm going to get the whole garlic and I got to peel it and it's a pain in the butt and my hand, blah, 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 blah. So I'm just going to buy the stuff in the jar. Well, let me just tell you about the stuff in the jar. It's often bleached at a high heat in order to get it out of the little husk that's, that it's in. And I, you know, I, there's something about food and bleach that just don't go together, regardless of what some people say. So, I'm going to give you a couple tips on the garlic. So, the first tip, and I like to call these, you know, tips when you have kids at home, because there's a couple really good uses for this. So, the first one um, is, uh, what, we're, what we're going to do is take two silver metal bowls, right? I got a couple heads of... Uh, couple cloves, right? These are called cloves, not heads. The head is this whole thing, or the bulb, and we're going to talk about that in a second. This is a clove, right? So I'm going to put that in a, glass, in, a in a silver bowl and take a second silver bowl. And I like to do this so if you have a rambunctious six-year-old going on seven and you need something for them to do, you can give them this task. Because when you put them in here, put the dome on like this and shake. Something amazing is going to happen. Or if you have a 13 year old going on 14 that likes to talk a lot and very loudly, you can drown them out with this. Or you might have an 11 year old boy who needs a little work on the core like me, right? For baseball. You can have them do this as an exercise. What this does, <laughs> it just takes the skins right off, right? So there's one, and there's one. So that's kind of a cool way to do it. I'm just gonna chop those up. What you wanna do is you wanna take a knife, you wanna put it on your garlic clove, and you wanna smash it with the palm of your hand. That releases some of the oils. And then we're just gonna rough cut this one We've already got nine in there. We're actually going to add 11. Oh no. So you just take it and we'll go ahead and dump it in the food processor. So the other way that you can kind of get the skin off of the garlic, the way garlic grows is this, this little fuzzy end is the root. Okay. So it sticks in the ground like that and the roots grow. And then there's like a flower thing, kind of a big stalk that comes out like this and a little, like a pretty little flower, like a little ball on the top, right? So, but this, these, these form the cloves, right? So you can take, all the cloves are attached to the root. So you can take your knife and we can cut off that root very carefully. Don't chop your fingers off like I've been known to do in the past, all right? So what happens now is your garlic bulb looks like that. So what you can do now is you can take these separate, right? These, these are like fall apart in my hand, okay? But since nothing is attached to it, 
still got the skin on, I can take my knife, I can smash it, and I can just pull the skin right off, just like that. And my garlic clove is ready to go. Let me show you that again in slow motion. Just kidding, I don't have slow motion. So we whack it, shake it, skin off, garlic clove. We're not going to waste that. We're going to throw her in the pot too. So that's kind of two quick ways that you can, you know, defunkify yourself from being scared about garlic. Okay, don't use the stuff in a jar. It's just nothing but bleached, you know, garlic. Granted, I do use the jar sometimes. I'm not going to say that I don't, but I would prefer the flavor um, of the garlic bulb like that. Okay, so garlic, canola oil, half a cup, slap it in your machine. Red pepper flakes, quarter of a teaspoon. Red pepper flakes. You don't. This is not a hot and spicy. Um, uh, this is scampi. It's not spicy, but you want a little bit of a, a little bit of a bite. So we're gonna slap our lid on. It's that easy. I'm gonna pull it a few times. What I'm doing is making a little bit of a paste. All right, I like that. Sounds good to me. Now we're gonna take a metal bowl and we're gonna take our shrimp. I have 2630 shrimp. It was on sale. So I was hoping to get like 2126, but this is 2630. Now, when when you see the store and they say 2630, which is what these, these are like medium shrimp, that means 26 between 26 and 30 equals a pound of shrimp. So if you say, I want a pound, you're going to get 26 to 30 of these. I think I actually got a little bit more, but that's how you read those numbers. So the big giant suckers are going to be the lower numbers, like a 12 to 16 kind of thing, meaning only 12 big mamas fit in that pound, like a 30, 34, 35, 30, that range is going to be those little teeny tiny popcorn type shrimp. This is a medium shrimp. I'm going to dump those. I've got, I've got, um, two dozen of them. I'm going to do um, uh, two dozen of these. So what we do now is we take our paste, if you'll call it that, or marinade. Be careful of the blade. You don't want it flopping all over the place. And I'm just going to pour that into my bowl with the shrimp. I'm going to use my hands. Your hands can be washed. You don't have to use a you know, little rubber spatula thing. Just wipe it out with your hands. All right, then I'm going to use my hand that's already dirty, and I'm just going to kind of mix this together. Ooh, love that garlic smell. Yep, I can smell it already. So these are going to get nice and happy. Plastic wrap over top, sitting in the fridge. 30 minutes, it's a great time to go ahead if you're using charcoal, which is what I'm doing tonight. Start your chimney of charcoal, wait about 15 minutes, and start your gas grill, whatever you're going to do. These are going to be ready to go to our next step in about 30 minutes. So I'll be back with you. We're going to put them on these little suckers, these skewers. But here's another tip. We are going to, in the meantime, while these are marinating, we're going to stick these skewers in some water. What that does is it prevents the skewers from burning to a crisp when you're grilling them doesn't mean that they're not going to turn black or brown. It means they're not going to burn and catch on fire. So stick them in some water while this is in the refrigerator marinating. I'll be back with you in about 30 minutes and we're going to grill these suckers. All right, so our shrimp is in the fridge. It's getting all happy with the garlic and red pepper flakes and canola oil. So we're going to kind of get everything ready to go for our next step. We're going to mise en place. Okay. So, um, what I've got here is a tablespoon of fresh thyme. I like to use fresh, but if you don't have time to pick fresh thyme, you can go to the grocery store and get dried thyme. How you like to use fresh, right? So you can buy fresh thyme at any grocery store and, uh, just, you take, take it off the leaf and put it in there and chop it up a little bit. All right. So, the other herb we're going to add is tarragon. So tarragon goes really well with seafood. Okay, so I'm going to use it with my shrimp. So I'm going to cut off 
the uh, these little roots. And then I'm just going to take our tarragon and I'm just going to give it a nice rough cut here. I guess I'm mincing actually. I guess that's called mincing. So then I'm just going to make sure it's nice and fine. Yeah, so you can smell it. It's, it's a little bit licorice y, which I don't like licorice that much, but this isn't going to taste overly licorice y. So I got about two tablespoons of that. I'm just going to put it in the same little plastic container with my uh, thyme, since we have thyme. Look, tarragon's really good too. Here today, tarragon tomorrow. So, okay, I, maybe I should start a dad joke section of the. No, I know. No dad jokes. All right, so I got my thyme, my tarragon. Um, I am going to get one lemon. I'm not going to do anything with it yet. I'm just getting it ready, mise en place. What we're going to do is we're going to cut the lemon in half. We're going to zest it with our handy zester, and then we're going to squeeze some of the lemon juice in. I also have a stick of butter. These are actually two half sticks. I've got one stick of butter that we're going to need, and then salt and pepper. So I've got everything ready to go. My skewers are in the water getting... Uh, nice and wet so they don't burn charcoals going on the uh, PK outside. If you want to use your gas grill, use your gas grill, no big deal. Um, I just like cooking with charcoal. So my charcoal's heating up. We're gonna be back in just a few minutes. We're gonna skewer these suckers, get them on the grill, and man, I cannot wait to show you how we finish this. Okay, so charcoal's ready to go. Grill's cranking outside. I've got it on a high heat. These are going to cook hot and fast. So what I'm doing, I'm taking my shrimp, taking my skewer, right? And I'm just taking the skewer into the big part of the shrimp and then again right below the base of the tail. I like to double stab my shrimp. That helps them when I go to flip them on the grill. It helps having them double stabbed a little bit. So... I'm not fumbling around with, you know, spinning shrimp. Nothing worse than spinning shrimp, right? So I've got my fourth one on here, ready to go. I'm gonna just put that sucker right there with the rest of them. Grab a rag here to wipe my hand off. Now, we are, um, to make it a little bit easier, like instead of having to take the skewers one at a time and putting them on the grill, I've actually just taken a wire rack and put them all on here at the same time. I'm gonna just set the rack down on the grill, then I just have to flip, and then I can pick the whole rack up and bring them inside when they're done. So, we're gonna take this outside. They're gonna go on the grill one minute per side. That's all it takes on a high grill. Shrimp don't take long to cook. So, you it's not something that you can put on and walk away and check your soap opera and you know, look at your Facebook page and all that kind of, do the laundry, do all that kind of stuff. You need to really be vigilant and watch this because after a minute, psh, 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 quick flip, ready to go. So let's uh, go set up outside and we're gonna be ready to grill our shrimp scampi and then wait till you see how we're gonna finish these off. All right, PK's fired up. We're gonna put the shrimp on there. And they are going to cook for one minute per side. That's all. One minute per side. Go! All right, they've been on one minute a side, so we're going to flip them over now. You probably, okay, see, don't do that. You probably want to take your tongs and just flip them over. Look how nice and charred they're getting. They don't take long, folks, so one minute per side is all you want to do. Oh, you slippery little sucker. Move back on over there, sister. You're, being, you're not being nice there, buddy. Come here. Get over. There we go. My skewer's stuck. That's okay. Get this last one flipped over. Now these are cooking a little more on this side, so you know what? I'm gonna move these down. I got a hot spot over here where I didn't spread my charcoal out enough. I'm just gonna move this little sucker over here. Let him cook a little bit hotter on that side. All right, one more minute. All right, so our shrimp are off 
and I am just melting my stick of butter here in a pan on the stove top. You can do this on your grill if you want. I'm just doing it inside on the stove. To that we're going to add our tarragon and thyme. We're going to zest a lemon. Now remember with zesting you don't want to dig too deep into the white part of the lemon. You just want the yellow part. The yellow part's where all the flavor is. So I'm just going to zest a lemon. The other half. Now some people, you know, they tell you you should zest like this. I like to drag. Um, I watched uh, Worst Cooks in America last night and Tyler Florence yelled at somebody because they were doing it like this, but you know, to each his own. I guess Tyler's a really good cook though. So anyway, all right, now I'm gonna squeeze the lemon juice in here, making sure I cup it so I can get the seeds out. The other part of the lemon, just squeezing the lemon juice in. Again, there's a little seed. That's why we do it into our hands, right? Perfect. Oh, see, it's getting all happy now. You just swirl that around a little bit. If you're not comfortable with the swirl, use a little spatula and you can just kind of get it all nice and happy. We're going to salt and pepper this, adding layers of flavor. And then, let me just give you an eyeball of this. Look at that shrimp. Look at that grilled shrimp. I'm going to taste one for scientific purposes only. That's really good. All right, everybody in the pool. I love that grilled flavor of, on that shrimp, right? So you want to incorporate the butter, the thyme, the tarragon, the salt, and the pepper, and the lemon with your shrimp. Again, if you're not comfortable with the flip method, just make sure you move it around a little bit with a uh, spatula now. Remember the shrimp are already done, so all you're doing is incorporating. So maybe a minute on medium heat. And we're gonna plate these suckers up and give them a try. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, the person who invents Smell-O-Vision is gonna make a gazillion dollars. Wish I was that smart. So, these are kind of swimming in my butter, garlic, tarragon, thyme, lemon sauce. I'm just going to take a bite of this. Again, I'm just going to use my digits, right? But I'm going to probably serve this over rice. It would go well over rice. It would go well over noodles. Um, you can chill it and put it on top of a salad. I think I'll do that for lunch tomorrow because I made a double batch here. Enough talk. Let's try. All right. Mmm. First thing I notice is a marrying of flavors. The char from the grill, the licorice from the tarragon, but not too much. I'm not a big licorice guy. The lemon zest is the key. You have to use the lemon zest. The garlic stands out. Love it. I think, I think I'm going to serve this over rice tonight because I'm a big rice fan. But this, uh, this could just be just like this, right? So next time you want to go out and you're, you're wanting to grill something and you're at the grocery store and they got a sale on shrimp, this is a pretty easy recipe, right? Make sure your shrimp are peeled and deveined. I didn't mention that. Some garlic, some canola oil, salt, pepper, a few herbs, red pepper flakes. Man, this right here is so darn good. So... Thank you for attending this episode of Smoke It, Grill It, and Cook It live from Awesomeville. We'll see you next time. Again, as my good friend used to say, don't let your meat loaf. <laughs>